Hi, welcome to Lead Technologies. In today's session, we'll discuss about how do we load the data from CSV file to a database using Dell Boomi integration platform. Okay, so now in this one, let me show you how my data looks like. So this is my data, EMP data. So this is a data which I prepared and this is how my data looks like, which is a comma separated data. Okay, and this is my database connection the oracle xe connection okay now the basic thing is like uh, here now what i do is i'll go to dell boomi now so let's start creating the process now the functionality is how do we load the data from csv file to a database right so click on create process and now here what do you want to do we'll mention the process name csv to db right and now what we want to do we need to read the data right so from a disk so click on disk get the file and click on get connection and now mention the connection name this connection and from which location you want to read the file i want i would like to read the data from this particular location so i'll need to mention this location right and save and close now it is asking which operation just click on plus symbol here and now right just mention the data this is set of files get the data filter right save and close okay now what's next we need to create the db connection right so now click on this one here click on this connect and click on database here right now this is right to db what is the action you need to send send the data to db and we need to mention to which database right so here this is my database and these are my properties let me show you this HR schema of my XC database. HR schema of my XC database. So let's try that. So click on connection. Now mention the what is the database, what's which flavor it is. That's my HR user. Set the password. HR port number 1521. Sorry, host right. 127001. Port is 1521. Database name is XE. Right. Click on make sure that click on save. Click on test connection and in which autumn you need to set test it in my in the local autumn where you have your database, right? So set your local autumn there and click on test. This should be success. If this is not success, we cannot proceed further, right? Because if a database is down, simply our program will not work, right? Yep, perfect. The test connection got successful. Click on finish, save and close. This is my connection. And what operation I want to do? Insert, right? yeah profile click on plus symbol here and statement and here let's just click on dynamic insert right and just mention the table name what's which table name the table name is employees this is a table name employees mention the table name save and close okay save and close now in this particular connection write to database connection what we have done we have selected the connector as database the action is sent and we have selected the connection and we have selected the operation right let's click on ok now what is the next thing so we have the like here there are two two particular process or two particular components are there right one is reading the data another one is writing the data to database this is a file operation and it's a database operation right so but both should be mapped nothing but you require a map connection here just select, select this map map one and here mention csv to database so now here just click on this plus symbol map option now here what you have to do here to mention the map source and map destination right so just click on choose so from which source we are reading we are reading a data from a particular csv file just click on click on choose here and now it is asking which file right so i mean what is the format of your file just click on flat file right and here click on create new profile and what you do click on record level and click on import before that just click on option one and select this particular user column use column headers click on data elements sorry one more thing this should be common data because it all depends upon the data right so in my data if you observe the first particular line is having columns and the data is getting separated by comma that's the reason i need to mention all these properties right now here click on import choose the file
EMB data CVSV. Click on next. Automatically, it has to recognize that particular data. This is for the purpose of preparing the mapping. This is not the actual loading, okay? It's just a preparation of your mapping. Click on finish. Now it recognized our data and is recognized these set of columns, right? It's click on save and close. And the source mapping is done. And now we have to map it, map to the destination, right? Click on choose database. Click on new data profile, right? So click on statement here. Click on one minute options. What do you what is option? We need to click on write, right? Click on write option and here statement level and it's a dynamic insert. Just mention the table name, right? Save and close, right? Okay, yeah. So now, next thing, what you do is we need to mention this one, right? So, here this may not work. What you do is just remove this, click on import, and here mention the click on browse in and select the atom where you want to check the connection. And in the connection, so Either you know you can use the existing database connection which we have it. Schema filter. The schema name is HR, right? Okay. Before rather than entering like this, you can what you can do is you can just click on next. It has to connect to your local system and try to validate whether the database connection is fine. If it is fine, it will provide you the information. If it is not fine, it may give you error, right? So just click on back here. Try to create the database connection or edit it, edit it right? So if at all, if something is wrong here, you can try to validate. Let's click on test connection. Yeah, it's per perfect. Save and close. Schema filter, let me try. HR is my schema. Click on next. Mm, fingers crossed. Yeah, perfect, right? So select the table HR employees, click on next. Operation complete. Right, select all the columns here, click on next, finish, right? So write it, got it. So now it is showing all the columns from this particular table, right? So save and close. Now what we have to do, we have to map the columns from your source to the destination right so now this is my employee id right so where is our employee id this one is my employee id first name where is our last name mm, okay last name email commission there is other one manager ID yeah. department ID job ID phone number anything missing yeah salary okay yeah high date yeah so as of now high date is missing uh, so to map the high date you know like what we do is the basic thing is you know like um, when you are mapping the date formats, generally you'll come across a lot number of issues. So right now what I'll do is I'll skip the date functionality. Okay, let it be like that. So don't map the date functionality, but it may give you null pointer exception because in this particular database table, date is mandatory. Just observe this. So that's another issue, right? Where is the date? Higher date, higher date. Yes, this not null value, right? So what I'll do is I'll just create a function, click on new function, date get current date okay so i would like to map this high date with my current date that's it save and close okay now what we have done we have this reading operation we have this mapping operation connect this and this is final database connection right so map them properly until it shows green color line, it means they are not connected, right? So finally, stop. Stop. Make sure that they're connected, not yet. Make sure they're connected, yes. Save and close. Sorry, rather than save and close, you should have done save, right? 
so this is my process where is that new process right this is my process name better name the process properly csv to db process save now click on test expectation is that it has to insert the new record the record number is 700 right and if you see here as of now i don't have any record number 700 right order by one descending let's try click on test click the runtime environment run test yeah the first component is getting processed let's see how it proceeds further okay okay text execution completed successfully it means that total process completed successfully but validated from backend no there's something wrong let's try again okay so there's something wrong right okay check this one executing connection shape message yeah check the operation Yeah, this is how I did this value. What is the data? Anything wrong here? Yeah, 700 is my employee ID, right? Try again. There is something wrong here. Okay, 107. Let us recheck again. Yeah, like. Uh, now we can see that the record got inserted here we can try for one more account here okay so let's say i'll name it as 701 and i'll just mention it as ram ltech and i'll just say r ltech save the file and now retest that let's see what will happen now okay click on test yeah mm, let's see let it finish Yep, it got completed successfully. Let's go back to database and validate. Yep, 701 got done, right? So one more important thing is like when you're sending the data, always you know check out how the content of your file is. Based on that, we need to change the mapping accordingly. If you observe in my case, so this particular mapping here, one minute, just click on this mapping here. And here, if you see the options, I have mentioned that the text qualifier is double coated, right? And the file delimiter is comma separated. So, depending upon your data, how you are getting, whether it's a comma separated, tab delimited, the lot number of things you have to just change it here. It okay? Yeah. Well, this is a very simple sample. How do we load the data from a CSV file into database? Okay. Thank you.